Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Still looking at the issue of grace. Looking at grace that provoke this amazing favor into a man's life that provokes supernatural access supernatural acceptance and supernatural provision until this comes on you you cannot have access to men and opportunities until you have access to men and opportunities acceptance cannot be talked about it is access acceptance that repositions you for provision. Therefore, you have, a, you have a part to play when it comes to activation. When you talk about activation, you are talking about what is already there, but it's not functioning. You are to activate it. Grace is there. Favor is there, but you have to activate. And I'm looking at two people this morning. I'm looking at Joseph, and I'm looking at Esther. I stopped somewhere last week, and I told you that I am going deeper in this issue of grace. And somebody think that it's just because it's there, there is nothing I need to do. That's not the truth. For favor to manifest the favor of God, he will use men. And for men to respond, there is a part you need to play. And that is what I'm looking at this morning. I, I want us to look at Joseph in Egypt. I'm going to look at Joseph in Egypt. I, I want us to look at the place of grace and favor. But we need to look at what did Joseph do? He did nothing. Then grace located him and favor located him. I don't think so. He did something. Did he do anything? Uh oh. You don't even know. Did Joseph do anything? He did something. The character. Somebody say character. Uh -huh. Character is the prophecy of your tomorrow. Character. When he was in Potiphar's house, even though he knew he was sold for no, nothing he did wrong. He didn't change his mind. He lived a life to the point he demonstrated character, faithfulness, integrity, trustworthiness. He so demonstrated it that Potiphar committed everything he had into a slave's hand. Can you be trusted? Favor is activated and you are the one to activate it. Listen, if you do not live such a life that attracts you to men or men to you, they will not demonstrate favor towards you. Somebody has to like your face. And for you to appear before men, 
there must be a demonstration of the kind of life you are. You know, I do not know what has entered into the present generation that a lady will dress and now expose her breast. Can I tell you the truth? Men of quality will marry such a woman. When we talk about gift, gift is not breast. Gift is not nakedness. Am I talking to you? He said, a man's gift maketh room for him. And it's been misinterpreted that the way the grace will make room for you is for you to, you won't wear brazier, you just leave it like that. That is meant for mad men to grab, not for men of intelligence. Are you hearing me? If you come to church and you dress like that, you cannot conveniently drop offering without holding breath. Then something is wrong with you. Your agenda is mysterious. And the reason why you dress like that is questionable. And if you think you will attract men of worth, I tell you the truth, you will not. I said to you last Sunday, favor, Jesus grew wisdom and in favor with God and man, he increased. That favor from God is transmitted through men. But your character is what positions you before men. It is madness. That's what killed that young lady in Calabar some months, back, some months back. She, she, felt, she suspected the husband and she drove herself to death when she saw the husband with a lady in the car. And she started pursuing her husband and pursuing the husband until she drove into a tree and died on the spot. And the lady escaped. Be careful how you are pursuing Jonah before fish carry you. It is that aggressiveness. Now, if you catch the lady with your husband outside, you are going to demonstrate, but you feel that both of you will still go home and the stranger will go. Character. Somebody say character. That is what Joseph demonstrated in Potiphar's house. Now, look at where the character carried him. Character carried him into the dungeon. In the dungeon, they made him a leader as well. They committed things into his hands. That was how he had access. Somebody say access. He had access to the butler that came from Pharaoh's house. Joseph was not looking for to be a king in Egypt. He was just making progress in his life. That situations and circumstances of life shouldn't force you to destroy your reputation and your life as a believer. It was so bad he was sold into slavery. But it is worse when he was accused of being a rapist and now jailed by the authority in the land. That means he has no, there is no way he can come out. But they made a mistake. They didn't put him in common prison. They put him in the dungeon where political prisoners are kept. And he took advantage by displaying his character. Sir, whether you believe it or not, your character is what people look at before they can relate to you. If you have lived in the neighborhood where there are some quarrelsome women, you, you avoid them by all means. Is that correct? Even your husband will tell them that stay away from this woman. 
Why? She has a quarrelsome spirit. Every little thing. You see her scream. What children will be playing and make a mistake? You, you see, are you, it's paper body. Let me say what they call them. Paper body. There are people that will not relate to you when they know that you are, in fact, you are lie personified. There are people like that. Nothing truthful comes out of their mouth. When they say, you, you said something, they say, ah, now that one tell you, say, yeah, it's there, forget it. Is you, have you ever seen him say anything truthful? There are men of honor will not come. Meanwhile, what you are looking for is delivered into men. And you need to get to those men. A man's gift, the greatest gift you have that attracts you to men is your character. You can have talent, you can have skill. My friend, skill and talent will not bring you to men. They will look at it they will value you. They will examine you. They say, no, we can't relate with this person. You know, you don't, it doesn't matter how, how truthful, or, sorry, it doesn't matter how somebody has a good talent and skill. If he's a thief, will you even want to associate with the person? No. They say, ah, he's good in what he's doing. He's good, but. Somebody say, but. Meanwhile, the men that is saying but are the men that are assigned to bless you. Grace has carried you to where they are, but your character has disgraced you out. Anointing will not carry you to heaven. What will carry you to heaven is your character. Did I say something here? That's what will take you to heaven. Character. The way you lived before men. Jesus said, let your light shine before what? Men. Because you're a light. And how your light shines is through your behavior, through your character towards people that you associate with. The challenge we have on evangelizing our environment is the problem of character. That's the challenge we have. The people you have quarreled with, the people that you have, you shouted on, you have said several things about them. What happens? You find it difficult to preach to them. You have a neighbor that you don't greet. And you're a believer. How can you preach to that person? In fact, if you greet the person, the person will begin to wonder whether you are normal. Because the person knows that you don't greet anybody. Your face is very straight because you are holy. When they, you now open mouth and say, Never, good morning, you know. Ah. You greet me. Joseph had access. Oh, God. Friend, when your character is controlled by the Spirit of God, you allow the Holy Ghost to dominate your soul. So that the sweetness of your life, Paul said, let your word be seasoned with salt so that those who hear it, grace will be ministered to them. Evangelism is simple when we develop friendship. Some of us went out yesterday. There is a way you will approach somebody, somebody will pay attention. There is also a way you will approach somebody. The person will look at you and say, are you okay? Are you normal? Character. Then he saw them. He saw them in, in a very terrible mood. Two prisoners. He's a prisoner. He said, you don't look good this morning. Is anything okay? They said, we had a dream. Favor from men will locate you when you position yourself to be a solution to the problems of men.
Thank you.